And good evening. Off the top at 6 to 9, family tragedy on I-95. Three-year-old twins were found unresponsive in a car, and the children's mother had jumped from a highway overpass. She remains in the hospital tonight, but sadly, the young children did not survive. Tonight, police are still trying to piece this all together. Let's get right over to Local 10's Christina Vasquez, live in Northwest Miami-Dade, with what she's learned. Christina. And so is the heartbroken father of these children. You're about to hear from him now. New at this hour, he's in complete disbelief. Also sharing with us that for a couple days, he was trying to get a hold of their mother. Uh, he said, I really love my, my, my kids. So. Tears brim the eyes of Milson Caldet as he views a photo of his children, three-year-old fraternal twins, a boy and girl who police say died after being found unresponsive in a vehicle along the northbound ramp to the turnpike from I-95 early this morning. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what, ha what, what, what happened. He still don't know what happened. He says for days he had been trying to get a hold of their mother, Shirlene Alcime. So. He said he went to the office in Wednesday, and then he called her. When he called her, it was never pick up. According to police, the woman with the twins hurled herself over a nearby railing as responding officers arrived to help. She was rushed to an area hospital. At last check, she was in critical condition. Adult female uh, went over the railing to the on-ramp onto the railroad tracks, which is a considerable distance. She's a good mother. We are hearing from a woman who says the driver of this car, the mother of twins, is her friend. When you hear what police say they found, what goes through your mind? I'm saying that's not her. That has to be something wrong with her for her to do something like that. That's really sad to know that the kids lost their lives so young. For her, she's not that kind of person. So it's just so mind boggling right now to figure out what really went wrong. And literally just seconds ago, I had an opportunity to speak to her, Suzette, in person. And interestingly, she said something that was an echo of what we heard from the children's father, that she has not seen her friend in a couple of days. Meantime, detectives really want you to know that they, will, they are unable to determine the manner and cause of the death of these little ones until their autopsies are complete. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Just so heartbreaking. Thank you, Christina.